Good morning, it's Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, October the 6th, 2011. And we're looking at trading the S&P 500. This is the SPY. It's an exchange traded fund where you can trade the S&P 500. And we're looking at a weekly chart, trying to figure out a trade here. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to notice is that we are below this blue solid line here, which is the 10-week moving average. And uh, we're also uh, well below this green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average, and this black dotted line, which is the 40-week moving average. So when you're below all these moving average lines, not a good sign. We also notice that the green line, which is the 20-week, has crossed under the 40-week. This is called a black cross. This is not a good sign as well. Um, we can also see that this week we undercut this 109.70 and um, uh, broke to new lows. Not a good sign as well. We can also see this blue line is is steeply diving and not able to get above that. So that's another negative. We are at the top of, of this week's range here of 1.63% for the week so far. Um, so uh, you know that that's positive that we're up in the higher part of the range, but still on a weekly chart uh, looking very weak here. Now one of the things I like to do is is start with a weekly chart and if I see an uptrend forming on a weekly chart, um, it gives me more um, reason to start looking uh, at the daily charts and, and, and the 60 minute chart for a trade. Um, so by judging this, I, do, I don't like the trade right now. But nonetheless, let's take a look at a daily chart. All right, so looking now at a daily chart of the SPY, uh, we can see this uh, three we, uh, we, uh, days of uh, upwards movement here. Um, made a low here of 107.43, taking out that 109.70 we saw in the weekly chart and a whole lot of volatility here, a whole lot of up and down action coming up to this blue line which is now the 50 day moving average getting turned away um, came up short here uh, pulled back, rallied up again, touched the line, came back down undercutting these lows here came back up here, got near the line again and failed breaking to new lows, so not a good sign we're below this red line here which is the 21 day moving average as well all the moving average lines are pointed down, you can see this black dotted line which is the 200 day moving average flattening out and kind of rolling over now uh, you can see the 100 day moving average this green dotted line has crossed under the 200 that's called a black cross uh, very bearish so daily chart not looking good as well so what we can do now is uh, look to shorting the S&P 500 there's an exchange traded fund called the SH which is uh, uh, you're able to uh, to short it and uh, actually bet that the S&P 500 will go down. So now let's take a look at that chart and see what we got there. Okay, looking at a weekly chart of the um, SH, the short um, S&P 500 fund, we can see this sort of rounding cup sh shaped action here. Um, we we sort of bottomed out here in uh, July and and uh, had a big pop up here in, in early August here and a follow through week here and then now we're forming this sort of cup here it's a very volatile cup here but we are down now testing this 10 week moving average this blue line here and finding support here um, if you kind of feel the shape of the cup here um, uh, you know you might pull back into this range here and still uh, uh, keep this cup going here so interesting uh, we do have the um, 20 week this green dotted line crossing over the 40 week so on the short side this is a much better looking chart okay looking at the daily chart of the SH uh, we can see this cup you can just look look around the bottom of this how it's shaping a nice cup here okay and uh, we can see this big rally up uh, came two cents short of taking out this high so a full cup here and now a nasty pullback from uh, 48, um, almost 48.50 down to about $45. So that's a big pullback here. And uh, we are now down just above this uh, red line, which is the 21-day moving average, and a little bit above the blue line, which is the 50-day moving average. So we're coming back down to the lower end of the cup. And uh, this, is, this is a potential area where we can trade this, um, betting that we're going to still form the shape of this cup. Now, looking for support down here at this, uh, the blue line, the 50-day moving average, which is currently at 44.72. And the red line is at 44.98. So an interesting uh, trade uh, shaping up here. So zooming back uh, to look at the volume, we see very heavy volume here. 
uh, on this uh, uh, day that it topped out here. I believe that was on Tuesday. And um, uh, heavy volume uh, up here uh, with the volume we had uh, back here uh, in early August when it topped out as well. And looking at what happened there, uh, huge volume topping out. And as it pulled back, you can see the volume tapering off and then uh, uh, basically rallying again up off of this 21-day uh, moving average here. Again, we see volume tapering off as we pull back here. So interesting, um, uh, sellers are, are, are not so excited now that we've had our pullback and uh, we might uh, get some stability down in here. Now one of the things I also like to do is I never like to buy when, when the prices are still falling. I like to wait for some stability and some upward motion too. Uh, so we're going to go now to a 60 minute chart. Okay, so here's our 60 minute chart. Um, a lot of your shorter term traders are going to be looking at this chart here and we can see our big uh, fall here and we can still see prices in a downtrend. Uh, you can see a little channel forming here. We are currently uh, sitting on the uh, 100 um, <clears throat> hour, I guess it would be, 100 hour line here, um, but uh, the trend is still down. What I'd like to see is this trend um, uh, stabilize and break this sort of downward sloping channel and maybe start taking out some highs here um, made and start an uptrend. Uh, so price is still currently falling. If we do find some stability down here, uh, we do have a couple moving averages that, that might get support here. Uh, we do have a previous low here of 43.63, which might offer some support as well. But uh, still looking for some upward uh, price action uh, in, uh, <coughs> in this chart before we would commit any money to this trade. We can see that volume is light, uh, which is good. So not a lot of active selling. We did have some heavy volume here back on these uh, couple falls here. So uh, waiting, um, this is where you sit back and if you have the time, uh, you know, monitoring a 60 minute chart, waiting for some so sort of uh, a reversal in the prices. And uh, so until then, I would hold off, but an interesting trade shaping up on the SH. So that's all for now. Good luck.